What's up, boys? Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Driller Interrogator, and I'm looking to do either a Frostfire build where I freeze and burn at the same time. I guess I'll grab the green there. The pickup radius was also not bad. Or I'm looking to do a full Acid build and stack Corrode as high as possible. Corrode applies a minor damage over time effect and also increases damage taken by 2%, I think, for every stack on them. So I could potentially have like a massive damage ramp when I stack a ton of Corrode on them. But I'm going to see what I get from my first weapons before I decide on which of those I go. If I go the Frostfire build, I kind of want the Microwave Emitter as my second weapon since I need to get that to 18 for the freeze effect on it. And I would also be looking for the Cryo Cannon since that can freeze by default and with a stable overclock can burn as well. Let's grab the paint job for that, I think. Damage and reload speed don't really seem to have a huge effect on the flamethrower, so I may as well just go for the paint jobs if they're the same rarity there. The surface is too packed for the supply pod to land. Please clear it. So yeah, we'll see which weapons I can choose from at level 5 and then go from there on the build. Some gold is nice so I can reroll potentially. So I don't really have anything here. I think for the acid I want to go for the sludge pump second. So I have the wave cooker and the sludge pump. I guess I will go the wave cooker and try to do a frost fire freezing plus burning build here. I don't think fire rate applies to any of the beam weapons. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that. That's pretty bad with a 30 second cooldown so the only choice there is that. So I think I'm also going to try and get the width upgrade on the wave cooker and get some beam range to make it hit a massive area as well. It's pretty early so I might grab a bit of XP here at the same rarity. Let's grab some early movement speed, I think. These are all decent for the build, though. It's a extra special. So I'll be looking for the Cryo Cannon next to add some instant freezing and then later on some burning, and then maybe the Experimental Plasma Charger after that, since the balanced overclocks for that can also add some status effects to it. Let's grab, I think, the status effect here. Beam weapons typically have a pretty long lifetime and a short reload speed, so they have pretty high uptime. That doesn't show the lifetime stat, so I'm not sure on that one. But you can see the flamethrower already has close to an 80% uptime. If that was at 3 seconds, it would be 80% already. Or actually, I think I'm slightly off on that math, sorry about that. But it's fairly close to that. Just try and walk with them a bit to keep the flamethrower beam on them. Beam damage, I'll take the status effect here. That fits the build. And I don't think beam damage applies to ailments that they're applying. Pull them into the detonator there. Take the wave cooker upgrade. I need to get that to level 18 for the slowing effect on it. The 
the bugs aren't appreciating your presence, Miner. Get the lead out. Kind of hard to hit them right now, but getting some beam range later on should be pretty helpful with that. Definitely take the blue status there. See if I can save that magnet for a little while here. Pull them into some more detonators. I think I'm just going to grab the reload speed on the wave cooker there. Need to push the levels on that since it's my primary weapon for this build. They're almost dead, so head back for the magnet now. Grab the reload on the wave cooker. I could grab some crit there. I guess it's fine. So out of these, cryo cannon is what I wanted next, so that's pretty nice. Set off some more detonators and then grab the magnet. See if I can grab those elites there as well. Grab the biggest upgrade for the cryo cannon there. That's a no -brainer. That's okay. Weapon range is pretty nice. I think I want to get a lot of weapon range here, so I am going to grab that. That one has a pretty high uptime as well at 15 versus about 5. Reload speed, absolutely. Purple HP is pretty nice for a dot build. I think I will take the plus 3 on the flamethrower. It does synergize with the build, so it's not bad. I think the plus 1 beam's there, and I guess another pay job there. Beam damage is okay, but I think I'm just going to take the overclock there. I don't really like reducing the width much on that. If you get the width and the range high enough, it's going to be hitting like the high HP enemies anyway, so I'll just grab the rotation speed there. Grab the cryo cannon. The drop pod is about to leave. Get your and then farm a little bit of XP before I have to get on. You made short work of stage one. Well done, miner. Let's grab all the wave cooker stuff, push that to 18 as soon as possible. Can't get any of that. I do like some movement speed. I'll check one reroll. I might have a cheap Nitra. That's fine. And then armor's pretty good. I don't think damage applies to my ailments, so probably pass on that for now. That's work to be done. Up and Adam Miner. So for the fourth weapon, I'm looking for either the experimental plasma charger Getting some overclocks on that so it also applies some ailments, or the sludge pump just to add some corrode stacks to enemies. A swarm is heading your way. Load up. Let's grab the wave cooker. Use this. Supply pod LZ is full of crap. Please clear it out. Crit chance, XP, fire. I actually don't think any of these are amazing here, but that should be okay. Oh, yeah. now we're so experimental plasma could work if I get some overclocks for it. It doesn't have great synergy though with the tags on it. But for my fourth weapon, I'm not going to be putting a ton into it, so I will just grab it and save my gold here. Lose 
Fuck looted. Objective completed. Got it right between the eyes! I think one of the balanced overclocks for the wave cooker actually makes it apply double stacks although it does less upfront damage so I can't actually get that and the width increase on it now since those are both balanced overclocks so that's a little bit unfortunate since I really want the burn one for a status focused build Reload for two weapons, probably not. None of these are great here. I guess I'll just grab the beam damage. These guys are dying pretty slowly, so probably need the detonators to do most of their HP. Can at least get a pretty large AoE on them to farm some XP there. Reload speed for two weapons isn't amazing, and they already have pretty high uptime. I guess just the flamethrower level here. It's for me! Grab the damage there for an overclock. Why not? So length, but minus width. But I wanted to get the increased burn stacks, so have to take that one there, and now it will be way better with status stuff. So reload, I could get an overclock there. Sure, let's see what we get. Damage reload, lifetime. Neither of these are super useful. I guess I'll just grab that for the extra burn. In some situations, use the detonator there on the big guys, try and pull them up into the other detonators. That really did not do much damage to them. Take the legendary there. Let's 
grab, I guess, the pickup radius there. Damage on the plasma isn't going to do much, although I do need some levels on it. Reload speed for beam. I guess probably just the flamethrower to try and get that up to 18 as well. So, flamethrower reload, probably the plasma here, I can't get enough of this try and get the overclocks on that eventually. That's all you got, you slippery shit. So, flamethrower, plasma, I think reload speed on that is the most useful. It's a single shot weapon so it fully scales with the reload speed. Grab the reload on the microwave, the wave cooker. Threat level increasing. Gotta move on. It's getting worse down there. Grab the wave cooker. Another four levels, and that one will start freezing as well. Looks like I'm going to start taking a ton of unavoidable damage soon, so hopefully that guy dies. Grab the reload there. Paint job is okay on the flamethrower. Try and grab a little bit of XP here. Reload is pretty good on the plasma. Reload on the cryo is okay. I do want to get that to 18 now since it's pretty high. Movement speed and HP are okay. Three levels is pretty good. I can only get that or that. I guess I will grab that. It's pretty nitro efficient in terms of pure levels. And that's the burning effect that I was looking for on it. This is gonna change everything. Crit damage isn't amazing here. Surely next time will be better. Reload speed is uh grab some mining I speed. And I guess some stuff. global damage. I can't get enough of this rare stuff. Get to work. There's aliens to be killed and gold to be mined. I've got a bad feeling about this one. So cryo cannon, I guess just some damage there. That's the one. Set those guys off to get the gold later. Objective completed. 
HP is fantastic. Since it takes so long to kill stuff with status effects, that'll help out a lot with survivability. Weapon range is quite nice for my three main weapons. Really need to get the extra four levels on the wave cooker soon, though. Weapon range is quite good. This is gonna help me be a perfect dwarf. Magnite here. Big swarm detected. Bug up and get ready. These guys are extremely tanky on this level for some reason. There's an Eno Pearl here. So I guess just the overclock here, what I needed. and then I can get slow or burn here. I think my damage needs help the most, so grab the burn first, but I want to get both of those for the build here. You ugly son of a bitch. Weapon range is pretty nice. I do need two more for the overclock there. And I do want to get a lot of overclocks here, so I think I'm just going to grab that. Trying to keep those guys close enough for the beams to keep hitting them while I'm trying to get the loot bugs and stuff around here. Should probably pull them into the detonators over there. My single target damage is pretty bad. So, microwave, probably just that. Another three to get the slow on it. The bugs aren't appreciating your presence, Miner. Get the lead out. Grab the big damage there, I think. Armor's not bad. Should be some decent survivability with the healing artifact now. It's a lot of stuff I have to get through to get back to it. Grab the cryo cannon there, I suppose. Levels on it aren't super important at this point, but I wouldn't mind getting some more overclocks. Grab the flamethrower, I think. My levels are getting kind of close to maxed out and grab the burning zones to go with all of my status I'm effect stuff. It Move it. 
Shame I had to leave all that behind, but too many enemies here. I could grab that, it's a bit expensive. I think I'm gonna pass on the expensive cryo cannon stuff. That's not amazing here. Let's see what else there is. Wave cooker is decent. Paint job is pretty nice. HP is decent. Reload speed for my three main weapons is okay. Plasma could potentially get that to another status effect. Armor is decent. And then I guess just reload speed out of those. Oh, this is it. Get to work. There's aliens to be killed and gold to be mined. So the flamethrower has well over 90% uptime. Can't really tell with that, but it has a pretty low reload pretty low reload time. And 2.59 to 15 seconds is also pretty high. That doesn't seem like a very smart area to go into with a tiny choke point there. I'll see if I can scout it out from the other side first. Freeze those guys, and then I won't take as much going through them. Picked up a magnet a bit early, but I don't think I could avoid that. So one level here gets me the 18, and it now applies slow, so the Frostfire build is fully online, basically. I could get one more upgrade for that for a bit more slowing, but it's not super important to the build. I have so much freezing, I can't really set those guys off manually now. And there's so much stuff up there, Jesus. Let's grab the reload. Wait, I thought that was at level 17 there. Oops, that didn't actually help me very much. Forgot I already got the burning ground for it. My single target damage is so bad, maybe I go for the kill here with these. This is so much stuff. Just 
Jesus. So many explosions, it actually lagged there. I guess some reload speed there. Sure. Why not? Since that's basically my main weapon. My damage is so bad, I think I'm gonna just use this to kill them. I think I'd probably re-roll out of this. Grab a level there to try and get the other ailment. Try and time that to kill those guys. Because my damage is so bad. Um, let's just grab this since it's the fourth floor and I'm ab about to leave now. Lifetime is okay, but reload is pretty good there. I don't think I can grab the XP up there. But I can get a bit over here. Status effect is pretty good, but I can get an overclock here. I probably get the most damage out of this and then looking for Nitra upgrades in the shop for that. And then I think I'm going to leave instantly instead of getting a tiny amount of XP so I can hold a bit more gold. Armor's okay. That's bad. That's not very good. These are not great. That's okay. I guess I reroll again. Nothing for me here. Let's try again. That will get me the overclock at least, so I can get the slow. And now I have three keys. weapons that both burn and slow, which is what I was going for. And I guess that's it for upgrades in the shop. Here we go. You found the dreadnought. Now you just need to make it come out of hibernation by destroying the cocoons. Show them Let's what a single the dwarf can do. Well, the freezing seems pretty solid at least. The damage certainly isn't there. Kind of interesting that an acid plus fire focus class has so much freezing though. Go with the cryo cannon, that's one away from another overclock. Get this area set up for the boss fight. Absolutely gonna need the pod to do some damage to him. I probably want to try and get these guys down before the boss is here as well if possible just to make it a bit easier to kite around.
much better now. Hopefully that's good enough. Try and get some damage on these guys now. I am so surrounded though. I don't know if I can go anywhere. There's the charge. Gonna need to bait out another one before I go for the drop. Try and go up above me and then pull him into it. Take the next overclock on the cryo cannon. 100 lifetime, one beam. I think it has pretty high uptime. This will slightly increase my freezing and burning power. Healing, dodge, fire. I'm not sure on this. Probably one of these two. This will help me work harder. Get a little bit of HP back here if I can get some levels. Try and keep them in the fire beams there to maximize damage. My damage is still so bad. I guess the crit chance there. I think they're gonna enrage so much that I won't be able to finish him. Maybe I can pull him into some detonators here. Freezing is pretty funny though. The clock's ticking, miner. Get it wrapped up. None of these make much difference. I can't re-roll, so I guess probably the wave cooker Bingo. damage. It's my highest level weapon. Try to walk through some frozen guys there while I can. Too many to count. Get it My damage is just so low and unfocused, sort of, that they're gonna ramp up too much before I can even kill him. It's taken me this long just to do as much damage as the supply pod, so... Yeah, I just can't really avoid everything at this point. Get it done, miner. The bugs are furious. Status effect is pretty good. Bit too late to matter, most likely. He is charging a lot now. We got bugs sign the likes of which I've never seen. Try and freeze these guys and run through. Freeze these guys and run through. I think I'm about to die. I'm appreciating your presence, miner. Get the lead out. Freeze these guys and run through. Grab the status effect damage there. Try to bait him into a good charge spot. Freeze these guys and run through. I'm probably dead soon. Yeah. The build was just too stupid, cooking too hard there. Like and subscribe if you want to see more stupid builds fail like that. That's it for the Frostfire Interrogator. 
This freezes at level 18, tons of burn stacks. Freeze and burn, freeze and burn at level 12. But just not quite there. Actually a pretty impressive amount of damage though. Let's see, my weapons did a total of about 8, 10, about 11.5 to 12 million. And my total damage was about 60 million. So that's quite a bit of status effect damage. So that is going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.